Okay, all right. Um, before I start, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rechak Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim Wakwatim, learning and teaching and truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another uh, video. I was doing some reading just a minute ago in Wisdom of Solomon, came across uh, something nice. All right, uh, and so basically, uh, it's, I'm going to be starting. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, verse 15. Says, uh, but it's a lot. But for the foolish devices of their wickedness, wherewith being deceived, they worship serpents void of reason and vile beasts. Thou didst send a multitude of unreasonable beasts upon them for vengeance, that they might know that wherewithal a man sinneth, by the same also shall he be punished. All right, and this is uh when you're reading uh, these couple chapters in Wisdom Solomon is telling you how. Uh, the Most High punished the Egyptians, and then also how He punished us in the wilderness because we was going off. All right, and uh, that, that's why uh, there's the instance uh, Moses held up the serpent, since niggas like it just told you they was worshiping what to say uh, serpents void of reason, and that's the same thing that He punished them by. When you read uh, uh, down here in verse 18. It says, uh, or unknown wild beast full of rage, newly created, breathing out fire or, or fire slot, bring, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy sense of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes. So basically by the same things that these people believed in, by the same idolatrous symbols, by the same lies and wickedness that they trust in is the same things that the Most High uh, punished them by, our, <clears throat> our, uh, wicked, the wicked two-third of our people. And it's going to be the same things. In these latter days and times. All right, you niggas want to believe on Krishna? All right, Krishna going to come kick your forehead in. All right, or uh, you niggas want to believe on Ishilabi Babli, uh, a stone over there in the Middle East uh, that, that looked like a, a uh, the opening of a black womb, then you niggas be humping on it? Well, he's going to let uh, Ishilabi Blabi uh, fall on you and kill you. All right, these same idols that our people are into worshiping is the same things that is going to be killing you. Like there's a that's going to be killing them. There is a there is a show uh, called Urban Legends, and a, a woman was driving. If I remember correctly, she was an Edomite, but she had a statue of Caesar Borgia on her uh, headboard of her car. And when she got into a car accident, that same little statue was the item that killed her. It it uh, busted through her chest. It impelled her bitch ass. All right, and the same thing now. You people want to trust on Esau? All right, you want to trust in, uh, you believe that some white, some lily white man with some doggy hair is going to come floating out of the sky to hug you up and just rapture you back into no man's land? Well, okay, the Lord is going to let you believe what you want to believe. And the same things that you fools believe in is the same things you're going to be punished by. The same ways that the Egyptians in the period of darkness were punished. All right, all the, every God that they believed in was proved to be wrong. They had a God of food. They couldn't get no food. They had a God of sunlight. They couldn't get no sunlight. All right. They had a God of uh, uh, of crops. They couldn't get no crops. The Lord was just mocking them, making fun of them. Was in Solomon chapter 12, verse 25. Therefore unto them, as to children without the use of reason, thou didst send a judgment to mock them. All right. Uh, let's see. You know what? Come on, Con, that's good. That's good. You can actually start. I could start from chapter from verse one, but it's all good. Verse 26. But they that would not be reformed by that correction, wherein he dallied with them, shall fill a judgment worthy of the most high power. So you niggas that want to believe on that bull while the most high has the doors of repentance open. All right. You're going to fill that worthy judgment by the same. Th what is saying here? That they might know that wherewithal a man sinneth, the same also shall he be punished. And that goes for all types of wickedness that our people are into. You niggas love doing drugs so much, the Lord going to make sure you get all every drug that you can handle in your system before you fucking crack out and die. You niggas love uh, going uh, backdoor diving and dipping off in other men's women. The Lord going to make sure that you get all the, you get all the pleasures you want. And then all them niggas that you've been uh, going to their wives... Might just catch you in martial law. Might literally stomp, uh, stomp on the death. All right. All the wickedness that our people enjoy is going to be the same wickedness that's going to uh, get rid of them. You niggas love being coons for the so-called white man. Well, Jerry, your best Edomite pal for the past 13 years 
uh, selling insurance with you is going to cannibalize your bitch ass and your whole family. All right, verse 27, for look for what things they grudge when they were punished, that is, for them whom they thought to be gods, now being punished in them, when they saw it, they acknowledged him to be the true power, whom before they denied to know, and therefore came extreme damnation upon them. All right, once again, all you people, like I said, uh, I think yesterday in the video, th this world is going to come to understand the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the only power in all existence. Everyone is going to realize that Buddha is a bunch of bullshit. All right, that uh, Scientology is false. That uh, Caesar Borgia, uh, uh, Serapis Christi's or Christos is a false deity. All right. That Muslim shit is some bullshit. Everyone is going to understand that when all when they realize that all their deities and idols are myths, their creations. Zeus ain't going to save nobody. Hercules ain't saving nothing. All right. Uh, Hermes ain't going to come out the cut and pick you niggas up. The only thing that's coming for you is, like it said, extreme damnation upon them. All right. Let me get this. Because you niggas don't want to believe on uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Well, that's fine and dandy. You are, you are already slated to be eliminated. Let me type it in right. I believe it's in John. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. John chapter 3 verse 18, he that believeth on him is not condemned, and he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High Power. So y'all don't want to believe in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach? Y'all want to believe on that bull? All right, the same person that you people don't believe in is going to be the same. Oh, uh, go to Matthew 24. The same person that this people doesn't, that's not the name. You got these niggas like vocab, that's not the name. Laura, case color, blah, 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 blah. all that bullshit. And that same person y'all don't believe in the uh, the so-called African community, the uh, Black consciousness community. All right, you same people are gonna when when you see that man piercing the, the clouds. All right, to your disbelief, that's when you're gonna realize that you're wrong, and he's gonna get he's gonna hop down and get to balling on you people. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. It might be a... Uh, no, okay, nope, Matthew 24 and 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So that man that you people denied so much, the fact that the true Negroes, that the true Hebrew Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, that the true names is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High Power. His name is Yahweh Shai. He's a, will be considered a dark-skinned Negro today. He's of the tribe of Judah. He's only coming back for his chosen people, the same ones that y'all have no belief in. Is this is going to be the same power that forces you uh, to bend your knees? All right. Uh, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. All right. So it, they. All right. Once again, it's not going to be no plan. It's going to be that extreme uh, judgment, that extreme uh, like like it said, uh, extreme damnation. Like it said in uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter twelve. All right. The, oh, let me get that. Head of the corner. Head of the corner. Because it's a, it's a parable that he himself used to say. All right. The stone that the builders refuse is become the head of the corner. Uh, cornerstone. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. Uh, Matthew. Matthew chapter 21, verse 42. Uh, yeah, uh, Yahushua said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. So once again, that same power that you people don't believe in is going to be the same one 
that gets ready. We keep telling you niggas, uh, martial law is coming. You're going to be getting your faces kicked in, shot down, this and that. And you don't want to believe that's exactly what's coming to you. We keep telling you that these missiles are very real. The mark of the beast is very real. And you don't want to believe it's going to be you. People are going to be the exact ones getting caught up and swept up in it. All right. And it's, it's not going to be uh, it's, uh, the, the talking will cease. It's just going to be time for pure judgment. All right. So that's uh, all I really had. You know, going back to that wisdom of Solomon, the same thing a man, I'll read it once again. The same thing that a man sinneth by is the same thing in which he shall be punished. All right. If you're not covered by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which the majority of this world is not, then it's not looking good for you. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 11, verse 16, that they might know that wherewithal a man sinneth by the same also shall he be punished. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakodash. The monarchs to the apostles and elders of millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, walk, walk, and learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.